Hello, um, my name is Jack Red Skull, and, and welcome to another video. I thought I'd show finally Insys off again to you, um, and they have elates, um, I can show you them off in better clarity, hopefully now, with them. Um, they be closing in the last few days, and hopefully we can get to see some female elites um, in the future that come outside. Look, as you can see in center frame, there is a male elite and a female elite just chilling out. Um. They seem to hang out in the middle chamber, but as of filming, they're not really, you know, um, they're all in the uh, first chamber here that's closest to the humidity. Um, but I digress. Um, there's one there, just to closed, and is ready to get hardened and get ready to harden up its exoskeleton and, f well, hopefully not fly in my room. <laughs> um, but yeah, this fiddle league in this colony is amazing. I've had it for about a year, and it didn't take this long to get this big. Um, I've just been limiting their food so they don't gr outgrow everything that I put them in. But now that I'm a bit more lenient, um, I've been chucking in food like crazy, and they've been eating it like this mealworm here, which is fed on um, meat. I actually don't feed um, vegetables. I feed meat to my feeder insects, so um, they're getting the best protein out there. Um, I feed an assortment of roasted ham to my mealworms and they seem to eat it and seems to be the best source of protein for the ants because they enjoy that. I did not intentionally put this mealworm in uh, live. I was in the middle of, you know, reusing the mealworms and I panicked and put one in and then it just kind of dug itself under the sand. And unfortunately, it must have found its way into the Fidolines' nest. But I can't stop that now. Um, but as you can see, the feeding response here is, is amazing. Um, what they do is they deploy soldiers to... Um, attack big threats um but the the they're doing a, a bit of a silly job at the moment as you can see there um the mealworm is struggling but it'll die of you know exhaustion which is what they tend to do they tend to bite it to exhaustion uh but um, they've got super major, uh, super majors or super soldiers or whatever you want to call them. I call them soldiers. It depends. When it's f Messer, I call them majors. And when it's Fidoli, I call them soldiers because, you know, that's what I'm used to doing. Um, the sand I use is reused, so um, it's from a different ant setup uh, that I moved to the other ants in, so that's why it looks a bit dirty. And also there's a dead end, but I don't know if they've got a grave pile yet. Also, I'm feeding them a little bit of um, honey roast ham at the moment to see what happens, see if they're interested. There's a super worm, which they um, were feeding on a few few days ago. Uh, not an interest. Oh, wait, this mealworm's out there. I could probably stop that. Um, but, you know, it's healthy for the ant colony to... Um, attack prey and you know especially for a colony of this size which I um, say has about 1,000 workers to maybe 2,000 workers it depends because they do crunch up and you know um, they don't space out like other ants they, they kind of just huddle in because um, some of my other ant colonies, they just kind of space out. Like here in Amerimex, they space out and they don't really huddle together, but these do. I think it's probably just me that's uh, notice, not noticing that, but oh well. Um, 
So there is there is a lot more than you know meets the eye in here because there's loads, absolutely loads, um, in there. And there is a absolutely beautiful um, golden golden. Uh, let me see if I can get a proper view there, but it's in center frame. It's a golden colored female elite, which is just a closed. Now, while <coughs> while, um, you know, looking at the pupil stage of the females, you can see that they've got little tiny um, tiny buds where the wings would be, and that must be after the pupil stage that they um, finally, uh, you know, inflate or whatever you want to call it but i know my video quality here isn't the best this isn't um a phone that i would use for use for filming um but it has to do for just now i need to get a better camera at some point and a macro lens which isn't you know complete garbage but um, I feed them honey water um, with a bit of sugar and I decorate their outworld to, you know, I like the desert theme at the moment, so, you know, um, sand and, you know, a twig will do. Um, I like to keep it bare bones mostly, so it's easier for me to clean. Um, so that's that's it almost, but... Um, and in the outworld... Um, um, way it is, um, but uh, the um, bamboo nest um, bought these off of eBay. Um, they were about ten dollars each, and I bought uh, four, so that roughly accounts to seven pounds or something like that. I don't know. Prices change all the time, so. Got them for fairly cheap for what they are, and if I just you know show you that it's just the um, three chambers um and quite a lot of nesting space, and all I need to do is water the nest um, about a, every week because it doesn't you know it doesn't you know um just it doesn't run out of water is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm, I've just kind of woken up while filming this so my brain's not fully active <laughs> please forgive me um but um the ant colony which I do um I can explain this dead leaf cutter out here which is another story um while I was cleaning out my leaf cutter bin some leaf cutter ants got inside here and um the um Fidoli unfortunately attacked them and killed them before I could um, get them, but um, it's not a big loss. I've got like over a million leaf cutter ants, um, but that's where they're congregating the elates. If I just see that, that's where they are congregating, and it's good. So I know that's an unfortunate mishap. Probably shouldn't have put them so close together, um, but uh, the way I was. Um, cleaning them out at the moment, I had kind of put them all close together and didn't realise you know, oh hey, uh, these leaf cutter ants can get in um, so what I'll do now is I'll put PTFE around the the, the um, area where I think the ants can get in or out so they can't get in or out <laughs> so that means I double the barrier so that's what I'll do in the future um if you've ever kept this species or kept a Fidoli species, please let me know because I want to know your experience with them. Um, I've had a bad experience with Fidoli megacephala, um, but Fidoli insists seem to be a walk in the park at the moment. Um, Fidoli insists seems to be a bit more lenient, much more robust than Fidoli megacephala, also a lot bigger. Fidoli megacephala is... Um, tiny compared to these. Fidoli Megacephala, um, the queen of Fidoli Megacephala is about the same size as one of those majors or soldiers, whatever you would like to call them. Um, and they're just genuinely uh, a lot bigger than most Fidolis, so like Fidoli Paladula or 
Caligula or whatever you want to call it, or like the the likes of Fidoli Indica or Fidoli Noda, or, but um, the only species that I can say is similar to this is Fidoli Spathithera, or I can't pronounce that name, I'm probably butchered it, but Fidoli Spathithera is probably the similar similar type or relative to this species here. There's a another major there too. I just enjoy looking at these. I, I can't take my eyes off them sometimes when I when I watch them. Honestly. Uh, it's just uh, a good colony to watch. And the diversity in casts as well. You've got the uh, miners and soldiers and super soldiers and the lights in the mix and it's just interesting to watch how they all communicate with each other. Um, uh, so it's just interesting to see and that's why ant keeping is a good hobby because it's just it keeps you enthralled in what you're looking at and how you can benefit the colony by feeding them different things like uh, this mealworm over here which is slowly going down mm. which is nice so hopefully they can consume that because it's got some valuable protein in it fed my aunt some uh, some uh, some of that ham, as you know, that I've already covered that. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to let you go now. Um, thank you very much for watching. Let me know how your ants are doing and what ants you keep in the comments. And let me know what you think of the this colony here. And I'll catch you later. Um, cheerio for now.